So first of all, all you have to do is you have to open the Kotak Bank application. So once the application is completely started, all you have to do is you have to click on Kotak 811 option. So as soon as you click on that, we are on the next page now. You can see it is asking me to enter the touch ID to complete the login process or to go and complete the further process. But I'm not going to do that. Now you can see either I can uh, enter the M pin or it was asking me to enter the fingerprint. But if I don't remember the M pin and in case if I haven't registered the fingerprint, so how can I reset my M pin? So you will be able to see a forgot M pin option at the bottom, which is in the middle. Now all you have to do is you have to select forgot M pin option. And on the next page, there are few steps by which you can reset your M pin. So I'll show you once the page is completely uh, loaded. So now you can see there are three options. One is by using your personal details. The second option is by using debit or credit card details. And the third option is by using your net banking details. So you can select either one of this to reset your M pins. But in today's video, I'm going to show you how can you simply uh, enter the debit or credit card details and then how can you change your M pin. So all you have to do is you have to enter the debit card number. You have to select the expiry. You have to enter the CVV card pin number and then you have to just simply click on the submit option. So I'll enter the card details and I will show you. So guys, as you can see, I have entered the debit card details. Now, once you enter the details, all you have to do is you have to click on submit option. So once the details are verified, we are on the next page and on this page, you can see that we get an option to set M pin. And once you set new M pin, you have to re-enter the M pin in this confirm section and then you have to simply go ahead. Now, there are some details or there are some notes you have to see before entering the new M pin. So the number should not be simple like 1111 or 123456 and you should not use the last two M pin which you have already been uh, using. So whatever may be the reason if you don't remember or if you remember then also you can change the M pin but still you don't have to use the last two M pins. So keep that in mind and do not use M pins similar to your personal details like your CRN number, mobile details or your date of birth. So choose any number which is not recognized by anyone or who cannot easily hack your number. So keep that in mind. So I'll enter the details very quickly and I will show you. So guys, I have entered the pin. Now you can see I have got a successful message that you have successfully created a new M pin. So you just have to click on OK and it is done. So now you will be on the home page of the Kotak Bank application. Now, guys, these are the simple steps which you have to follow if you want to change your M pin in Kotak Bank application. So that's it for today's video, guys. If you like this video, hit that like button, share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.